Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, World Warriors, I'm Brian Croman for a Croman Review, and last episode had me really getting back into beat-em-ups again. Uh, friggin' Streets of Rage, how amazing was that game? I mean, between the setting, the great gameplay mechanics, the grappling system, memorable characters and boss fights, drive-by cop car rocket launchings, and who could forget the friggin' music? Oh, the music's so friggin' good! And that's why today we're looking at Streets of Rage! The movie. Which has nothing to do with the games. Yeah. Sorry. Streets of Rage is a 1994 film starring Mimi Lesios. Uh, she actually used to be a professional wrestler during the 80s for the AWA, Magnificent Mimi. Ah, women's wrestling in the 80s. Definitely no shortage of big hair and one-piece bathing suits. And on top of all that, an accomplished black belt in both judo and karate, so... You know, I was really looking forward going into this. And Streets of Rage opens rather promisingly with Magnificent Mimi as Melanie Reigns effectively dispatching several... Uh, en enemy soldiers? T terrorists? C criminals? So that she can rescue... Uh, a hostage? The, the president? Her, her next door neighbor? I'm sure the next scene will provide some kind of context. Streets of Rage! God, that music! You know what would at least make that opener a little bit better? Yeah. Oh, and forget about all that military shit you just saw because that's never mentioned again. No, Melanie Reigns is a research assistant for the Post with aspirations of becoming a full-time reporter, but old Jameson over there won't let her take pictures of Spider-Man just yet. Look, you've been a research assistant for less than a year. If you want to be a reporter on my staff, you're going to have to pay some serious dues first. Thankfully, her awesome co-worker Max is right there with some useful advice. Feel the battle. Feel its flow. Pick your no, 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 no. Her, her other awesome co-worker, Max. I, I always get those two mixed up. I've been in this business most of my life. Hell, I was a copy boy for six friggin' years before I got my credentials. But nobody gave me a break. So I started digging up stories so good they had to print them. There's a story on every corner, but it's not gonna come to you. You gotta go find it. But with your brains and that big heart of yours, it's us. More on that, Max, later. Anyway, Melanie does what any would-be journalist looking for her big break would do. She beats up a couple street thugs assaulting a homeless kid. What are you going to do about it, lady? Do about it, huh? yes! Yes! Come on. Are you? Oh, your history now, bitch. <laughs> just like Pulitzer would have wanted. Oh, and by the way, that fight scene you just saw, you should probably soak that in. That's about as ragey as these streets are gonna get. Basically, Melody stumbles upon a child prostitution ring run by the shadowy crime boss Lunar, a little bit of murder, and a rather apathetic police force. So you don't even want a description of the kid? No. As for me, I'm wondering if I accidentally changed the channel to a marathon of Law & Order SVU. But just in case that wasn't enough for you, in case your streets need a little bit more rage, we got romance plots. Holy fuck do we got romance plots. I, uh, I think the next clip pretty much sums the whole thing up for you. Hi, Annie, it's Nicholas. 
Thanks. I just want to say I really miss you. I'll come over and spend the night if you want. All you have to do is whistle. Ooh, oh, baby. <laughs> Melody, Scott Talbot here. I got your number from work, and I hope I'm not being too forward, but I've been thinking about you and would really love to see you again. I'll be settled in by tomorrow, and I'll give you a call then. Oh, number Ooh. two. <laughs> Ooh. Melody, this is Ryan McCain calling on totally unofficial business. Uh, I know you may think this is off the wall, but uh, would you like to have lunch with me tomorrow? We could take a little picnic to Bronson Park, maybe. Give me a buzz in the morning. Bye. Damn, woman, what's your secret? Of course, by the laws of movie nature, one of these men will end up Melody's one true love, one of these men will conveniently be revealed as the villain of the movie, and one of these men will Nick dies. Not really, but Nick was always dead to me. Oh, wait. Hmm. Seriously, though, when Melody isn't interviewing homeless kids or kicking ass, we're following her on dates and picnics and bar socials and, and lunches and, and getting stood up and standing people up and even into the shower. Yeah, gotta get that shower scene in. You know, stuff that just screams streets of rage. Friggin' Christ, it takes up so much screen time I found myself forgetting what the hell we're even supposed to be doing. What are we doing? My name is Melody Sales and I'm a reporter from The Post. You haven't heard the last of me yet. Right, um, story, kid prostitutes, um, Max, we know where their hideout is, but, uh, but we need somebody to case the place out. You're on the job. Make me proud, you wily vet, you. Thirty years ago when I did this, they spoke English. Hi, uh, I'm the uh, transmission inspector from the automobile club. No, oh, for fuck's sake, Max! You had one job! I really hope that joke was worth it to you. I bet other Max wouldn't have got caught. Well, now that my favorite character in the whole movie is being undoubtedly tortured in the worst ways possible... Final thoughts. I had such a blast watching Streets of Rage. This is the kind of movie you really want to grab a group of friends for and just have at it. I haven't seen a movie where everyone is so hopelessly incompetent at their job since Prometheus. The plot only manages to move forward by complete accident or people making horrible decisions. Whether it's the police saying they don't want descriptions of possible witnesses, Max cracking jokes within earshot of henchmen he's supposed to be spying on, or Lunar outing himself to a drunk off her ass and nearly passed out Melody. Upstairs into something more comfortable. Uh, I really should be going. For fuck's sake, Lunar! You know she heard you! Don't let her leave your sex mansion! You can literally kill her right now and no one would know! Idiot! But yeah, Streets of Rage. It's a mess, but thanks to the characters and dialogue, the best kind of mess possible. Highly recommended. I'm Brian Croman, and if you're still not mad at me for making you think this was going to be a review on Streets of Rage the Game, why don't you hit me with a little four-hit combo? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time right here on a Croman Review. <sighs> Fuck yeah!
Until then, this is Magnificent Mimi sending you love and kisses.